we're all going to have to get used to wearing face masks in public. That's why it's so important that we get used to and understand exactly how to wear them properly for our protection and those of others. In this time of coronavirus, Katrina Espiritu, an infection prevention specialist at Lurie Children's Hospital, says wearing a face mask is becoming our new normal to help keep everyone safe. If I were to be coughing, it would be concealed within my mask. Or if somebody, you know, facing me was coughing at me, I would also be protected from that as well. Here in Illinois, under a new mask order that goes into effect on Friday, most residents will be required to wear a face covering in public when social distancing isn't possible. I like to put it over my ears first, secure it that way, spread it out, and then shape it to my nose. The Spiritu says to prevent contamination, remember to wash your hands before and after putting on a face mask or covering. Now, doctors say the mask should cover your nose and your mouth and should fit snug but comfortably allowing you to breathe. Now, that may be a little more challenging to do with this homemade face covering I made out of a bandana and a couple of hair ties. There's lots of how to make your own mask videos online. Masks are also for sale on the internet and available through various giveaways. Of course, you should always clean your mask regularly unless it's disposable and not reusable. Wearing masks is not the only way to protect yourself. Officials and experts say remember to practice social distancing. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.